Hello everyone, welcome to Cornflower Crafts. I'm Corn, up in the craft room, and I was working on my latest project and thought, you know what, words for Wednesday, y'all might want to come up and join. But I will say this, after 27 minutes, I stopped my, uh, I stopped rolling because I realized that I just, when I'm up here, I just have a tendency to go on and on. So I'm gonna stop going on and on right now and show you what I'm working on and then I thought maybe we could finish a couple of journaling cards together okay but it just oh this would have been like over an hour long I don't think we need that so um what I'm doing this is one of the pages of my latest journal slash scrapbook and this one uh used a stamperia paper called passion it has to do with your passion for dance, your passion for art, your passion for paper, your passion for music, just your passion. These things that that make you happy um, to create and be a part of and listen to. And um, there's quite a bit in this about ballerinas. So um, that's why you saw with my altered playing cards, they go in this. Um, with the crowns, uh, there's a crown and the bows and everything that a lot of ballerinas sometimes wear. So, um, I was working on this page, which this paper came from my latest haul that Handsome did, or Handsome's haul. And um, I did reinforce all of the holes for so that they would, you know, if a young person got in there and got kind of rough, it would be fine. You know what I mean? It would. <laughs> they could, they could pull on the page and it'd be nice and reinforced. So this one, I just uh, two inches in, I did a score line, folded it over, glued it here in the middle and here, and um, then this is from the paper pack itself. You know, Stamperia does ten pages, front and back. So this is their journaling cards that I fussy cut out and there's room on the back for a photo or for journaling, but they do such beautiful work. And when I placed them in their pockets, I said, oh, that's pretty, but there's too much white here. As you all may know, I usually stencil here or I take my um, sponge sugar distress oxide and I do fun things with the dauber and all this stuff. But I thought, mm, nah, not this time. Um, what I will do instead is I will make, and see I've already done this guy, sorry. I was filming it, but for y'all, but it was, like I said, just way too long. I, play, I did two of these, my own journaling cards here. And, um, they match the paper. And I thought it would look nice to your eyes to follow from here to here. And um, I did two to put behind their journaling cards. And so then once I got them out, I was like, I wanna decorate them, but not extensively. So you see this huge mess over here? <laughs> when I create, I make a huge mess. In those earlier 27 minutes, we took some white fabric, we frayed the edges, and then we took the Distress Oxide and made this into the Sponge Sugar Pink and made this one into the Salvage Patina, which is a lot of these colors are going through this journal slash scrapbook. We did, I, we did that together, but like I said, just whew, it's easy, but it's just a matter of you know putting it on like a piece of paper, you don't mind messing up and then taking that dauber have fun first with your um with your edges and then tackle the center so when it came to these i was like well guys what do you think and i thought at first because you know they come with lots of tags um but the thing is it's almost the same They've got so many images, and then they use that image over and over and over. So, and on the back is a great a stencil, on uh, stencil, is a great um, piece also, which has to do, you know, 
with um, collaging, but I was like, well, if you use it, I would either have to cover it and then fussy cut that out, or I, you know, you could use a black pen on there and it would still show up. But I was like, what about that? And I love this one on this paper. I just love that together. So I was like, now yeah, what do I do? Because I have done so much fussy cutting, you guys. Oh, mercy. So then I thought, okay, I think we need something behind it. <laughs> and I said, ribbon. We need ribbon. And I had a piece in my, I have sitting on my left-hand side, just some scraps of things that I thought I could use from other projects that I thought I could use in this sitting over there. And I found this ribbon. Cut the ribbon, put it like so, and said, oh, I like that. That's pretty, you know, just leave it alone and leave it sweet. But that's not who I am. <laughs> so I said, maybe some lace behind it. So then um, got out my little, I have a little box of lace that I got on Amazon, and it's very here I put it, it's not thick, it's very thin. And I thought, okay, maybe we can do this and then put the ribbon and then put the toe shoes. Then I was like, okay, we need to, a different one for this one. But as you see, they're both gone around with the vintage photo ink, but I was like, that needs, this is too white. I put it down, it was way too white. So I was like, okay. Let's do it like this. Let's just get out our vintage photo and make it vintagey. <laughs> so that's what we're working with, okay? So I thought we could put those down together and then create the journaling cards to go behind their journaling cards. So for me, when it comes to the ribbon. I like to do the double-sided tape. It makes them happy. But as you know, when it comes to this stuff, there is no room for error, which I'll be honest with y'all. Um, I mess up. I don't always do everything perfect. I don't know too many people who do, but I don't know anybody who does. And then I just go ahead and take my bone folder. Hopefully I'm in frame. I've been called out for that before. <laughs> so, and where is my other uh, piece? We're hiding. So. I hope you guys are finding your latest project that you're working on exciting and fun. This is exciting for me because I love to dance, not ballet. I always love tap. And no, I've never had lessons. We didn't have the money and that's fun. That happened. Um, but I've always loved tap and modern dance. And just shaking it. <laughs> gonna lie I just love the thing love it love it love it okay so we've got these guys we've got our lace now what I do everybody does it differently and that's that's good you know especially they're so thin and what I usually have to do with these guys is just go ahead and hit the, you know, do my edges, which you don't have to at all, but I do. And then hit the, the more solid places, you know. And I think that our glitter glue is good for that, personally. And uh, yes, I don't have it cut the exact size I think I'm getting too much glue on it, which I have done from time to time. I just pat it a little 
And yes, that gives me very gooey fingers, but how the heck do these go wash them? Or use a baby wipe, which I don't have one out right now. Then I'm gonna go ahead and run this down the middle. Okay. All right. Ooh, super gluey. Okay. And when it comes to art glitter glue, as you know, sometimes it's fine about staying down, and sometimes it's like, no, I don't want to. You do it. And I'll do it off camera. Um, Usually I have to glue, because I, I cut them, usually I have to glue the edges. Okay, I'm going to let this dry a little bit. Okay, let's let this dry over here and get ready with this one. Cut it off a little, yeah, I can cut it off there. It'll, it'll save. I can use that little snippet. Snippets are fun, aren't they? Okay. wanted to go through the lace. Oh, that's too much glue on there. Okay. No, no. Spread it out a little. Okay. Alrighty. It's like I always say, I cannot, you know, it's, it's fascinating how when you hear certain crafters say certain things, you, um, it stays with you forever. And I know that Heather, one of our friends from the UK, wonderful artist, um, crafter, she does it all. Um, she does not like gluey fingers. And she has Gypsy Crafter journals here on YouTube. And I cannot do anything like this. I gotta set this on top of here before I do anything else. Um, Boy, my door is having fun, isn't it? It's making great noises. Um, oh, that does not want to stay down, does it? Ooh, you little rascal. Let's see if we can do this. Stay, Art Glitter Glue. Okay. It really doesn't. Oh, look at that. Wow. That hasn't happened before. But okay. Alrighty, we got it. 
if I don't have it, I'll fix it later. We don't need to do that on camera, do we? Okay. This one should be ready. <laughs> should be. And just a matter of cutting that off. And these scissors are Fiskars, in case you're interested. Okay. So, so pretty. I'm gonna go ahead and work on that while this one's drying. These are a little too, too tiny. I would normally save those, but it's a little too small. I am gonna do something though to make sure this baby stays down. There we go. Apply pressure that way. And as you notice, when I put this on, there's a little bit of buckling to the satin, but I think that's kind of pretty personally. I don't know if you like it or not, but I think it's kind of pretty. So let's try and get this. Oop. We got it. Okay. As far as our center is concerned, we are right up there. Here. Yeah, it's it has buckled a little bit on me. Rats. And you can see the lace underneath, and that's okay. I like that personally. Then we're, look at all the glue I got on the back of this. I'll clean it off. Okay. I bet you if I stick my fingers on this double-sided tape back in, I'll get that glue off. <laughs> I did. I got some of it. And then we'll go ahead and place this. I should have placed it over there a little bit more, I think. But it's all good. And what I'm gonna put this on with is my Fabri-Fix, Fabri -Fix, fabri -Tac. And mine is at the end of its rope, y'all. It is, it is not happy. It's at the end of it. Let's see if I can even get it to come out of the bottle. That'll be fun. Yep. I know I can thin it, but as I've mentioned before, it makes me nervous to thin adhesives in case they don't. Um, guys, sorry, I'm going to have to stand this up in case they don't, in case they fail, you know? And guess what I just did? Oh, guys, okay, we all make mistakes. I just put it on the white one. This is <laughs> that picture is supposed to go on this one. See, this looks good too, but you know what I mean? Because of the lace being creamy. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, well. And yes, if you guys don't like the satin lace on here with, I mean, the satin ribbon over the lace, because you can see it, you know what I mean? <clears throat> Excuse me, it buckles and stuff. I like it, but I mean, if you guys don't like it, then what you can do if you put other, let's see, even, well, I've got, I've got the velvet lace over it, I mean, look, velvet ribbon, you could even do this ribbon, which would not 
you know, which would stay, it might buckle a little bit, but it would stay better. Something like this, holy moly, with adhesive like this, this is super thick, that would stay, you know, that kind of stuff. This one would stay fine too, it's a little dark, but it would, see this is fabric, and that would stay great too. But I kind of like it, because I think it looks old. You know what I mean? Old and, but that's hilarious. I put the wrong, the wrong ephemera on it. <laughs> oh, that's what I do when I get on camera. But this looks good too though, don't you think? Because of the, the darkness, oh, well of course that's vintage photo around it, but because of the aged, um, music paper too and the age lace here so I mean it looks still looks good but it wasn't supposed to work that way oh well <laughs> oh my let me make sure my fingers are okay to even work with this one fingernails sometimes work with this tape and oftentimes do not. Okay. And as you know, if we were putting this down on something that wasn't lace, it would be smooth as silk. So, we're right about here. I can cut these both off at the same time. I can see why some people are content not to have content on their channels because of stuff like this. It's like this. But here's the thing I like. If you've made a boo-boo, which I have many times, Figure out how to fix it, you know? This doesn't need fixing, although I put this, this should go here a little bit. Oh, I didn't, I should have cut it. Okay, better. And, um, it's, um, uh, Sometimes it's fun to fix it, I think. Sometimes, mm, maybe not as much, but oft times I think it's fun. Let's see, okay, I've got to think up something to do. Sometimes I like it a whole lot better, you know, when I fix it. Okay, so this one right about here. reason I tell you all about what adhesive I'm using is because I kind of like videos that do that because sometimes I'm like, okay, what are you trusting, you know, for this baby to stay down? And some people are like, just do it. Don't, don't care, you know, I'm trying to clean up my fabric fix. Now, what I could do to fix this quote unquote, is I can take, I would take my dauber, not this dauber, but the little tiny one, and I could just age this up a tiny bit because you only see these little strips on the side. But you know what? I'm leaving it. I'm leaving it. I kind of like it. So let's see how it looks now, guys. Okay? Let's see if we like that look.
Oh yeah, I like that better. I like that lots better. And like I said, if you if you want your satin ribbon to sit perfectly, then you you would just use that and not put it on the lace that gives it all that texture, you know. So that's what I'm doing these days is what I'm working on. And I hope everybody has a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening. Bye-bye, everybody. Take good care.